All right, thanks, Ed. More fallout tonight from that prison break in upstate New York. A new superintendent has now been named to run the Clinton Correctional Facility. That's where Richard Matt and David Sweat broke out on the 6th of June. 30-year veteran Michael Kirkpatrick will now oversee a range of new security measures that close gaps exploited by the inmates during their escape. The previous superintendent and 11 other staff members all put on paid leave. That happened yesterday. The department says that searches of inmate cell and staffing and security all will be increased now. And we're once again hearing from Richard Matt's brother. He has a strong message for Matt's partner in crime. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller is live tonight at our digital desk in the newsroom. And Keith, again, we spoke exclusively with Richard Matt's half-brother Wayne Schimpf today. He tells me he's finally starting to feel some relief since Matt has been dead almost a week now. But there's a lot of questions that still remain about who will claim Matt's body, it will not be Wayne Schimpf. Now, Matt and Schimpf didn't have much of a relationship after Matt murdered William Rickerson back in 1997. Schimpf tells me he would receive letters from Matt in prison, but never opened most of them. Now, Schimpf is a spitting image of Matt. In fact, when Matt was in Mexico and murdered a man, he used his brother's identity to do so. Matt also threatened to murder his brother if he didn't let him use his car. Now today I asked Wayne if he could ask Matt's accomplice, David Sweat, anything right now that Matt is dead, what would it be? Was he making more threats on my life? That's probably the one thing, that would be the one question I probably would want to ask the most. If I was, if somebody ever said you can ask him one question, what would it be? And it would probably be, did he make more threats against me? Or was there ever a plan to come here? Or was there ever a plan to come here? You know? Was he going to go to Mexico and try to beat me again? And Schimpf admits he'll never really know the truth. The other thing he's interested in is how exactly they escaped. Again, he's still on edge since there are other people out there who are on Matt's side, but tells me he's hoping that he can finally, for the first time in 20 years, start to move on. We're live at the digital desk tonight. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.